my testimony goes like this. Yesterday, I was prayed for. You know, when I was telling them, I said, God, whatever that is on this paper, I want you right now to meet my point of need right now. I was, first I was at that corner, I started shaking and I just saw something me to saying jump, 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 jump. I was jumping, then I fell. But when I woke up from them, I came this side. I was just standing, you know, with my paper. But I said, God, you know me. Amen. Mm -hmm. As I was standing there, I started feeling as if this house was on fire. I felt as if there was fire in my feet. Everyone was standing. When Baba came to me, I was holding my paper, hiding my face. But he did this to this paper. The moment I, you know, that I contact with him, I felt as if, hey, sh I can't explain. It was so powerful. I went down on my back. Amen. And in my heart, I said, it's over. Amen. In my heart, I just felt it's over. Amen. I'm someone who is no, you know, when giving birth, it's like playing. I don't have problems in giving birth. It's like my labor is goes to two to three hours and I'm done. And I'm someone who delivers big babies. But imagine no stitches, no what? It's just, I don't know, it's just the grace of God. When I gave birth to this boy, it was like a joke. To me, it was like a joke, but I knew God was with me. I always played this song by Pastor Frank, Baba Muneni. It's, it's a song that I, when I was pregnant, it was my, 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 my breakfast, my dinner, my supper. I never ate bake eggs, that, those bake eggs for pregnant people. But when I gave birth, I started having these bake eggs. You know, ladies, you know when I'm talking about bake eggs. Amen. Is that plain the pain that when you woke up or wake up or from the bed, you try to step and you feel like that pain was with me since I gave birth to this boy. But I always tell myself it's going to be okay. But you know, yesterday when the man of God touched my back, whew, I felt as if something was being, you know, like. Thank Jesus. It was like something has just been removed. You know, in some seconds you felt like, oh, what happened? And I thank God. I didn't write that, that on the paper. But it's something, in the morning I was like, let me try this, God. I woke up. I, I went to the bathroom. I nailed down, no pain. You know, I'm someone who, who, who enjoys sweeping when kneeling down. I don't like these mops. I like, you know, using my back so much. But in the morning, I was like, hey, because my bed is a big high. So it was a problem to me. I would have to do as if I'm pregnant again, waking up. But this morning, I jumped out of the bed. Amen. So I thank this God so much because my miracle. <laughs> uh, hallelujah. Amen. And you know, it's, it's like, this is not a testimony, but it's an encouragement to some Tiboras. You know, having a husband who's not coming to church. Amen. You know, it's not like you are controlling him, Amen. but he listens to you. Amen. And I thank God that when Baba was praying for me, he said something to me relating to that. <coughs> it was something that I always, you know, desire to my husband that he listens to me sometimes. But when Baba prayed for me in the evening, you know, that prayer that he said, that was that. You know, my husband is someone who's so soft. You so, I don't know, he's so loving. You, when you tell him, I want to go to church, you say, you just tell him, you ask him what time, what time are you coming out? You come and speak to you. You know, it's, it's something that, you know, just the touch of God can do miracles to his life. I mean, I'll just be able to see him one day walking that through that door. Amen. Amen. So I just thank this God. I just thank this God Amen. for this conference. Amen. Amen. It was meant for me. Amen. Amen. I praise God so much. Hallelujah. Amen.